We will now add and subtract similar rational algebraic expressions. When we say similar, they have the same denominator. First, we will recall how to add or subtract same fractions. So we have 1 half plus 3 over 2. First, you copy the denominator because they, they have the same denominator, that is 2. And then, you apply the operation. So here, we are adding. So 1 plus 3, that is 4. And then, if you can divide your answer, you divide it. Or if you can simplify it, you simplify it. 4 divided by 2, that is 2. So this is the answer for this example. How about 5 over 3 minus 9 over 3? So first, you need to copy the denominator, 3, and then perform the operation. 5 minus 9, that is negative. 4. Can we simplify negative 4 and 3? No, we cannot. So this is the final answer. Another example, let's have 2 over 5 minus 3 over 5 plus 4 over 5. So copy the denominator 5 and then you will perform the operation so we have 2 minus 3, that is negative 1, plus 4, that is 3. Can we still simplify 3 over 5? No, so this is the final answer. Let's have the first example. So we will add 8t over 3 and 5t over 3. You copy the denominator, 3. And then you will add the numerator. So we have 8p plus 5p, that is 13p. So can we still simplify 13 and 3? No, we cannot because 13 is a prime number. So this is the final answer. We have 8x plus 3 over 2 plus 2x minus 7 over 2. First, you need to copy the denominator 2. And then, we will write the common term. When we say common term, both have the same variable or both are constant. So, in the numerator, we have 8x. We can add it to 2x because they both have x. And then, plus 3 minus 7 because they are both constant terms. So we have 8x plus 2x, that is 10x. 3 minus 7, unlike sine minus. So we have 7 minus 3, 4. Copy the sign of the bigger number, so that is negative. Negative 4, copy the denominator. In here, we can still factor the numerator using CMF. So we have CMF 2, 10x divided by 2, that is 5x. 4 divided by 2, that is 2. Copy the sign and then copy the denominator. So we can now cancel 2 in the numerator, 2 in the denominator. So our final answer is 5x minus 2. x squared plus 4 over 2x plus 4 plus 5x plus 2, 2x plus 4. First, you need to copy the denominator. 2x plus 4. And then you write x squared and then 5x. And then we will combine the constant. We have 4 plus 2. So we will have x squared plus 5x, 4 plus 2, that is 6, over 2x plus 4. So the numerator can be factored using general trinomial, factors of the x squared, factor of 6 that will give you 5 as a sum. So we have 3 and 2, 
6 is positive, we will use same sign. Over, we can simplify this one using CMF. Their CMF is 2. 2x two divided by 2, that is x. And then 4 divided by 2, that is 2. Now we can cancel common factors. So we have x plus 2, x plus 2. We will write the remaining term x plus 3 over 2. That is the final answer. We have the fourth example x squared minus 2 over x minus 1 minus x over 1 minus x. Here we need to have common denominator. We need to deal with this first. So we need to introduce negative 1. So 1 divided by negative 1, that is negative 1. Negative x divided by negative 1, that is positive x. Or we can write this one as negative 1 times x minus 1 so that we can have the same denominator. And then we need to divide x and negative 1 that will become negative x over x minus 1. And then copy the first RAE. Since we already have the same denominator, we will write the denominator x minus 1. And then x squared minus 2. Here we have negative times negative x that will become positive x. And then we will rearrange them. First, we have x squared plus x minus 2 over x minus 1. In rearrange, you need to write the variable with the higher exponent decreasing up to the constant. So we have x squared plus x minus 2 over x minus 1. And then we can factor the numerator using general trinomial. Factors of x squared. And then what are the factors of 2 that if you subtract them, it will give you 1. So we have 2 times 1. And then the higher value will follow the sign of the middle term that is positive. And then we have negative. And then copy the denominator. Now we can cancel common factors. So we have x minus 1, x minus 1. So the final answer here is x plus 2. 2x minus 3 over 3x squared plus x minus 2 minus negative x minus 1 over 3x squared plus x minus 2. Numerator 2x minus 3. And then since it is subtraction, we need to multiply negative here. So we have negative times negative x that will become positive x. Negative times negative 1 that will become positive 1. And then we will rearrange the terms. We have 2x plus x, negative 3 plus 1. Copy the denominator. Combine the terms 2x plus x, that is 3x. Negative 3 plus 1, unlike sign, minus. Copy the sign of the bigger number. Negative 2 over the denominator. We can factor the denominator using general trinomial where a is not equal to 1. So you need to use the AC method. I want you to recall how to factor using AC method. So the factors of the denominator are 3x minus 2 and x plus 1. And then copy the numerator. Now, we can cancel common factors, so we have 3x minus 2, 3x minus 2. There is no remaining term in the numerator, so we need to write 1 over x plus 1. Can we cancel 1 and 1 here? No, we cannot because they are different 
term. So the final answer is 1 over x plus 1.